ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುಭ ಪತಿ ಪಾವುನಿಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗುಂಗಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ತಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸೃಷ್ಣಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರೋಷ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರು ಧೈರ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನೋತಪಾಲಿಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರುಚೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಪೋದೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಮಾ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಯಾನುಡಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಬೇಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ತೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಗುರುಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀ ಸಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ತದಿಯ ಪದ ಪಂಕಜೋ ಪಂಜರಾಂತ 
रैव मे विशतु मनसो राजहंस प्राण प्रयाण समय कफवात पृथ्व कंठावरोधनो विधो स्मरण कुतस्ते भजन कुतस्ते कृष्ण तदीयपद पंकजो पंजरांत रैव मे विशत मनसो राजहंस प्राण प्रयाण समय कफवात पृथ्व कंठावरोधन विधो भजन कुतस्ते भजन कुतोस्ते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद स्पीकिंग दैट साधु संग इज हंड्रेड पर्सेंट इशेंशियल हंड्रेड पर्सेंट समबॉडी पुटिंग क्वेश्चन जे साधु संग इज हंड्रेड पर्सेंट इन नेचरी पपा से यस गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी पपा स्पीकिंग यस साधु संग इज अ मास्ट विदाउट साधु संग There cannot be any question of bhajan. Very, very essential. But according to, according to right, you will have to do sadhu sangha. Bob was speaking. According to your grade platform, according to your right, you will have to do sadhu sangha. If you are going to get the association of a very elevated sadhu very high in that case you can understand you can fall down so according to our right we will have to do sadhu sangha otherwise there can be some problem prabhu speaking if i stay with a sadhu if i stay with a pure sadhu that doesn't mean i am doing sadhu sangha because to say to stay with the sadhu means to take all siddhant vichar and etiquette everything from him otherwise if i am if i am going to stay with the sadhu that doesn't mean that it is sadhu sangha if i stay near if i stay near a sadhu that doesn't mean i am doing sadhu sangha and if i am staying too far still i can get sadhu sangha if i am staying externally if you find that i am too far from my guru maharaj or from a pure sadhu still there is possibility is there i can do sadhu sangha i can get the scope of sadhu sangha if i stay with a sadhu in one room still i can miss sadhu sangha sometime if i stay with sadhu if i stay near to a sadhu i can get sadhu sangha it can also happen it depends also if i stay far still i can uh, i cannot get sadhu sangha maybe this can so happen eh so to give the scope of sadhu sangha prabhu speaking gauri mat arranging all different kind of utsav festival different kind of things you know hari katha kirtan so to destroy the grihabrata dharma to guess to this to destroy grihabrata dharma and to install bhakti inside the jiva Gorima trying, I mean the devotees of Gorima trying. Jive daya, I mean, jive daya na me ruchi. Jive daya mean to show jive daya mean to change, to show, to bestow jive jive daya mean to change the taste of a bad jiva. Jive daya mean. 
to change the test, material test of a jiva, of a bhadra jiva. And, you know, this is called jiva daya. To engage that bhadra jiva in hari bhajan, hari kirtan, hari katha. So this kind of festival, hari katha, kirtan, all giving us this kind of scope. Otherwise, you know, our life is miserable. To help a jiva, to, to help a bandit soul, to help a bandit soul to increase consciousness. You know, this is sadhu sangha actually. In the association of sadhu sangha, if I hear hari katha, I can increase my consciousness, chetana. And this way I can get mangal. A pure devotee is a pure sadhu. Those who are in favor of attachment or detachment, I mean in favor of renunciation or enjoyment, they are not at all sadhu, both of that categories. They are not sadhu. A pure devotee is sadhu. But they are detachment mood, attachment mood, both, you know, we cannot accept. If we can get the association of your sadhu, then and only then we can understand that this, the way of enjoyment is very dangerous. At the same time, the way of detachment is also very dangerous, very, very dangerous. Those who are running for enjoyment, they can fall down. Those who are running for detachment, you know, they also fall good dry, dry renunciation, dry. So, the question of Jukta Bhairagya is very important. Somebody speaking, elephant taking Elephant taking so much, you know, grass, so much. Whereas an ant, an ant going to take very little. Ant can say, the elephant taking so much. So what? Elephant going to take Krishna on his back. Krishna going to ride the elephant. At the same time, ant cannot do any seva. So the question of Yukta Vairagya, is very important. We cannot start any competition with anybody. We have no desire to start any competition with anybody. Only we want to understand the comparative statement of pure bhakti, pure devotional practice, according to a discussion of Brihad Bhagavatam Vrithas. Enjoyment and detachment both we like to, we like to throw away because it is called aversive attitude. It's not bhakti. Last time I was discussing about this point, actually Sankar Bhagavan speaking to Naraji Maharaj that you, you come to me and sit here. I like to speak you something secret. Tasmad Upavisho Brahman Rahasyam Paramam Sanai Karnete Kathayami Ekam Parama Sardaya Sinu. With great respect, you will have to hear this thing. You sit here, don't run. Because after hearing the glories of, you know, Vaikuntha Jagat and Lakshmi Devi, everything, Naraji Maharaj was busy to reach Vaikuntha. At the same time, Sankar Bhagavan going to catch the hand of you know, Naraji Maharaj and speaking, way, 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 come here. I like to speak you something secret, you come to me. I like to very secretly, you know, into your ears, not openly. Sankar Bhagavan speaking, Tat tato 
मद गुरुरादिश्य श्री श्रिय ओपी कारुण्य विशेष पात्र प्रहलाद एव प्रथित जगत्याम कृष्ण से भक्त नितराम प्रिय तत्तातो अतो मद गुरुरादिश्य श्रिय ओपी कारुण्य विशेष पात्र प्रहलाद एव प्रथित जगत्याम कृष्ण से भक्त नितराम प्रिय हे नारद I myself, your father Brahma, and all Parshad Bhakta, Guru Radhi, Guru Bhagwan Adi, and eh? and Mahalakshmi, the Shakti of Bhagwan. We think Pralad Maharaj is the topmost kipa patra of all. हे नारद आई माई सेल्फ योर फादर ब्रह्मा एंड गोरुराज योर पार्षद इवन द शक्ति ऑफ भगवान हिमसे वी थिंक आई थिंक ओनली प्रहलाद महाराज इज द टॉप मोस्ट की पाप ऑफ आउट ऑफ आस ऑल एंड आई थिंक यू फॉर गेट भगवत बचनानी तम किंग नो विस्मृतो वानसी अधीता पुराणु श्लोक एक नॉकिंग स्मरे यू फॉरगेट वन श्लोक इन पुराना हियर यू नो यू फॉरगेट आई थिंक वेरी फेमस श्लोक वेर भगवान गोइंग टू डिक्लेयर वेर भगवान गोइंग टू डिक्लेयर न तथा मे प्रियतमो आत्मजनेर न शंकर न च शंकर सनो न श्री नईवात्मा च यथा भवान भगवान श्रीकृष्ण स्पीकिंग टू पुल्ला न तथा न तथा मे प्रियतम आत्मजनीर्ण शंकर आत्मजनीर्ण ब्रह्मा शंकर भगवान शंकर्षण इज द एक्सपेन्शन ऑफ भगवान Even I myself, Shankar Sir, no Sri, Sri Min Lakshmi. She is the Shakti of Bhagwan, staying, you know, with Bhagwan. And according to Vedanta Sutra, we know Shakti, Shakti Matur, Avid, Shakti and Shakti Man, non-different from each other. So. भगवान स्पीकिंग न तथा मे प्रियतमो आत्मजनीर न शंकर न च शंकर सनो न श्री नईवात्मा च यथा भवान ब्रह्मा न तथा मे प्रियत दे आर नॉज आय न न दे आर नॉट की पाथ ब्रह्मा शंकर शंकर्षण श्री इवन श्री लक्ष्मी देवी व्हाट टू स्पीक अब आई माई सेल्फ नॉट सो यू नो फेव आई डोंट लाइक माई सेल्फ ऑल्सो लाइक यू आई लाइक यू सो मच च यथा भवान नाहम आत्मनम मासा से मद्भक्त साधुर विना श्रिय अत्वांतिकी व्यापी जेषा गतिरहम परा आई एम द ओनली सेंटर फॉर देम पियो साधु फॉलो नाहम आत्मनम आशा से मद्भक्त साधुवीर विना श्रिय अत्वांतिकी व्यापी जेषा गतिर परा दो साधु आई एम ओनली आई एम दे सेल्टर ओनली परम गति एंड दो साधु नो दे डोंट लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग विदाउट यू नो मी एंड आई ऑल्सो लाइक देम वेरी मच 
except sadhu, I don't like to understand anything. Those sadhus, except those sadhus, even my own murti, Bhagavan speaking, even my murti, own murti, is not so favorable to me. Even Lakshi. So the sadhu, I like, I like them very much, I love them very much. They are the topmost Kiva Patra. That is why, actually, Sankar Bhagavan speaking, the first sloka, na tatha me piyatamo, atma janir na sankaraha, na cha sankar sano, na srir naiva atma yatha bhavan. Giving. And going to explain that Bhagavan speaking, that those, I am the only shelter for them, the sadhu, they are my heart. Naham tibhyo managofi. Aham bhakta paradhino hi asatantra ivadicho. Though Bhagavan is absolute, absolutely free, param sarad vastu, Bhagavan is not under the control of anybody. But still, Aham bhakta paradhino, still, it is written there in Bhagavatam, but still Bhagavan speaking, Aham bhakta paradhino. Janmadasu yato anmayaditarasya sarate savigya sarat. Sarat means he is not under the control of anybody. Still, Bhagavan speaking, in same Bhagavatam, they have aham bhakta paradhyam. So, everything is, you know, can get proper adjustment. Proper adjustment. You know, there is, in case of Supreme Lord, everything can be adjusted. Madadi Deva Madadi Devota Janir Nijo Bhakto Vinod Krit Sri Murti Ropi Sa Jebhyo Napiksha Ko Hi No Tutano Who can glorify Who can glorify those sadhus properly? Who can glorify those sadhus properly? about those sadhu, Bhagavan speaking, that my own murti, my own murti is not so, you know, dear to me as I love those sadhus. Who can, who can glorify those sadhus properly? Try to think. Madadi devota jonir nija bhakta vinodakrit Sri Murti Ropi Sa Jebhyo Napiksha Kohi Nautu Tanu. Who can glorify those great sadhus? Impossible. Because Bhagavan speaking, Sankar Bhagavan speaking, the Bhagavan speaking, my own Murti is not so dear to me as I love, you know, as those, those devotees. They are dear to me. Are also Narod, you can think that from Bhagavan, Bhagavan is the source of everything. Even you, me, your father, everybody, who not? Everybody coming from that Supreme Lord, Srimurti. The only source, Utpatti, we, we come from Bhagavan. He is the original cause of all causes. Iswaraha Paramakisa Sachidananda Vigraha Anadi Radhi Govinda Sarva Karana Karanam. Follow. Even Gauradi Bhagavan, they are serving Bhagavan all the time, you can remember. Gauradi is very dear to you know, servant of Bhagavan. Eh? But still Bhagavan speaking that you know, though I like, I love those devotees very much. Eh, my own murti is not so dear to me as I you know. This way Bhagavan speaking. And also there can be some question that why Bhagavan speaking this way, whereas Lakshmi Devi 
is the internal potency of Bhagavan, Antaranga Shakti. Why, why Bhagavan speaking this way? Point is that, as per Vedanta Sutra, we know Shakti Shakti Mathur Abhet. I mean Bhagavan and his internal potency non-different from each other. So in that case, in that case, if Bhagavan speaking, even I, I don't like my, you know, my, my own murti is not so dear to me. So no problem. This way you can say. And also about Shakti, internal presence, and about Brahma, about Sankar, there can be some relationship. Relationship means eternal relationship. Lakshmi is the eternal potency of Bhagavan, Shakti, wife, and Atma Janir, Brahma. In one sense, we can say Brahma is the son of Bhagavan. Follow? Sankarsan is the expansion of Bhagavan. Or if you think about Balaram, Sankarsan is a, is a brother. So, what Bhagavan likes to speak, that if I say eh, that I love my devotees very much, my own murti is not so dear to me, even Lakshmi is not so dear to me, even Sankar, okay, because they have some, they are, there is some relations, there is some relationship between, between Brahma and me, because Brahma took birth from me, his son. In this way, Lakshmi Devi is my wife. So, when I love my devotees, there is as such, there is no, you know, relationship like that. This kind of relationship, somebody can say, well, you can love Brahma because he is your son. But this kind of direct relationship is not there. But devotees, they are my heart, actually. So, Madadi, Devata, Yanir, Nijo, Bhakto, Vinodakrit, Sri Murti, Ropi, Sa, Jebhyo, Napiksha, Kohi, Nautu, Tanu. Who can glorify those great sadhus? About, about them, Bhagavan speaking this way. Sankar Bhagavan speaking this way. And Sankar Bhagavan speaking to Naraji Maharaj, Tatrapi Ashesh Bhaktyanam Upamano Tayo Ditaha Shakshat Bhagavatai Vasau Prahlado Atarko Bhagavano. What speaking? Tatrapi Ashesha Bhaktyanam Upamano Tayoditaha Shakshad Bhagavatai Vasau Prahlado Atarko Bhagavano. Sankar Bhagavan speaking. Among those devotees about whom all Bhagavan speaking, Aham Bhakta Paradhino, about all devotees, Bhagavan speaking. And now among all devotees, Prahlad, Prahlad is topmost. Among all devotees, among all devotees, Prahlad we can, Anna, who can glorify Prahlad? Prahlad is topmost lucky, so lucky. Nobody can find such a Kipapatra Bhagavan. We have never heard, we never hear about. Among those devotees, Prahlad is topmost, his luck is very good, very, very high luck. Very lucky Prahlad Maharaj. And such, this kind of luck is not, you know, we cannot find it is in a, anywhere. Because Bhagavan himself, you can go through seven canto, you can find Bhagavan himself speaking. That you are an example. 
if somebody going to ask me that if somebody going to ask me prabhu we like to see the sample of your you know how your devotee is we like to see one sample bhagwan speaking in bhagwat simad bhagwat ji maparan seven canto mad bhakta pratirup drik you are the example among all my devotees you are the example follow among all devotees prahlad you are an example for everybody so shankar bhagwan speaking about devotees bhagwan going to express this kind of exclusive mood so what to speak about prahlad tatrapi ashesh bhaktyanam upaman tayodithah साक्षात भगवत वासौ प्रहलाद अतर्क भाग्यवान अतर्क मान नोबरी कैन यू नो गो फर आर्गुमेंट एब ऑन दिस पॉइंट विदाउट एनी आर्गुमेंट एवरीबडी रेड बिकॉज दिस इज अ सिद्धांत विचार ऑफ शास्त्र तस्ो भाग्यम अस्मा सर्वैर लक्षापी अनुत्तम साक्षाद साक्षाद हिरण्य कशिपु रनुभूतम विदारेण शंकर भगवान स्पीकिंग नारद यू फॉरगेट एट द टाइम ऑफ यू नो हिर एट द टाइम ऑफ निसिंहदेव अवतार व्हेन निसिंहदेव Eh, going to kill Hiranyakashipu. That moment you can remember. I was present there. Brahma was Brahma ji. He was present there. All demigods they. And I follow. So tasho, so bhagyam asma bhi sarveer lakshapi anuttamam. Shakshad Hiranyakashipu, Hiranyakashipu. रनुभूतम विदारेण विदारेण बे वैन वैन निशिंग भगवान यू नो एट द टाइम ऑफ यू नो एट द टाइम ऑफ यू नो हिरण्य कशिपु फाइटिंग विथ हिरण्य कशिपु एंड निशिंग देव वैन निशिंग देव गोइंग टू किल हिरण्य कशिपु एट द टाइम वी ऑल यू मी एवरीबॉडी we have seen the exclusive keeper shown by nishinga dev the 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 exclusive keeper shown by nishinga dev to prahlad maharaj i was present there and brahma sa oh everybody so tasho sobhagyam asmabhi sarvair lakshapi anuttamam we have seen sakshat hiranyak shibu huh? हिरण्यक शिवु रनुभूतम वी हैव फीलिंग एट द टाइम ऑफ यू नो किलिंग ऑफ हिरण्यक शिवु वी हैव सीन द काइंड ऑफ एक्सक्लूसिव कीपा शोन बाय निशिंग देव टू प्रहलाद महाराज ऑल्सो शंकर भगवान स्पीकिंग पुनः 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 पुनर् बरानो दीत्सुर विष्णुमूर्ति न जाचिता वैन निशिंग भगवान ऑलवेज स्पीकिंग टू यू नो प्रहलाद प्रहलाद ट्राई टू ट्राई टू गेट सम बेनेडिक्शन फ्रॉम मी ट्राई टू गेट सम स्पेशल बुन फ्रॉम मी पुनः पुनः बरानो दीत्सुर विष्णु मुक्ति न याचित वैन वैन निशिंग देव वॉन्टेड टू गिव सो मेनी थिंग टू प्रहलाद महाराज वॉन्टेड टू गिव बेनेडिक्शन स्पेशल बुन बा स्टील रिपीटेडली निशिंग देव स्पीकिंग वेल यू टेक समथिंग यू टेक समथिंग यू टेक समथिंग यू आक समथिंग फ्रॉम मी बट स्टील 
Pallad Maharaj never wanted to ask something from Bhagavan. And ultimately, Pallad Maharaj speaking, if you at all want to give some boon, because in your honor, I have no desire to ask anything from you, believe me or not, I have nothing to beg from you, because you are my absolute Prabhu, I am your servant. I have no self-interest at all. I love you. That's why I like to serve you. So I have no self-interest. I am your servant. I am your servant. I have no self-interest, nothing. And you are my Prabhu. I am not going to seek any self-interest from you. So what? So what use? You are my Nirupadhik Prabhu. I am your Nirupadhik servant. So what, what use? You know? Or, you know, benediction, this, that, okay. You are asking me. So I have no desire to ask any boon from you. But in your honor, because you are speaking repeatedly, you, you take some boon from me. Take some boon from, okay, in your honor. Only in your honor, I have no self-interest. Only in your honor, I like to ask something. What you want? Palladma speaking, Ho Prabhu, Bharanu Hridhi Sangraho Bhavatastu Varam. Prabhu, at all, if you are going to, you know, going to ask me to take some boon, well, in your honor, I am going to ask something. What is that? But uh, I am going to, I am going to, I am going to take some boon, special boon from you. What is that boon? But uh, in inside my heart, inside my heart, never, never inside my heart, there can come any karma desire. My heart, I like to see my heart. I like to see my heart free of any desire. This kind of benediction I beg from you. I like to see my heart totally clean, free of any desire. Kamanam hidhi sangraho bhavatastu binevaram. There can never appear any desire. There can never come any desire inside. This kind of special benediction boon I like to get from you. If you like to give, you can give. Kamanam hiti sangraho bhavatastu binevaram. I like to beg. So, when Sankar Bhagavan speaking, punaha punaha barano ditsur vrishnur muktim no yachitaha. Repeatedly, Bhagavan speaking, you take something, you take something, you take something, but without bhakti, bhakti deva brita yena pralhadam tat namami aham. Sankar Bhagavan speaking, I am going to pay pranam, namami aham. To whom? That Prahlad. Who, even after repeat, repeated request, repeated request by Nishingadev, he never wanted to take anything except pure devotion. Bhakti Reva Brita. Bhakti Reva Brita. Jena Prahladam Tvam. Namami Aham. I am going to pay pranam to that Prahlad Maharaj. You know, Prahlad Maharaj wanted to pray to Nishingade Prabhu. Birth after birth, if I take birth according to my karma fall, you please bless me so that, so that continuously, non-stop, there should be Bhakti inside my heart for you. Except that I want nothing. Pashu Pakki Hoye Thakki Sarge Ba Niraye Taba Bhakti Rahu Bhakti Bino Da Hidaye Vrittas were also speaking this way. 
बाबापर्ग भमत सकर्म भी आफ्टर द स्पीकिंग तब जनेशु सक्षम आई लाइक टू डेवलप फ्रेंडशिप विथ यो इच इच एंड एवरी लाइफ आई लाइक टू गेट द एसोसिएशन ऑफ योर डिवोटी दैट मच यू नो कृपा इवान थ्रॉम यू If I take birth anywhere, I don't know according to Parmphal where I can take birth next. But I like to see, I like to get bhakti, undisturbed bhakti, constant bhakti, non-stop bhakti until your lotus feet. This much, sahasrajani bhavana ha. Hey. So Shankar Bhagwan speaking. पुनः पुनः बरानो दित्सुर बृष्णुर मुक्ति न जाचित भक्तिरव वृता जेन प्रहलाद नमा अहम आई एम गोइंग टू पे प्रणाम टू दैट प्रहलाद महाराज शंकर भगवान स्पीकिंग ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड मर्यादा लंघ कश्यापी गुरुवादेश मुने असंपन्न असंपन्न सबाग जालो सत्यांत यदले दारे तादृक अवस्थान तुच्छोदान फल किमु रक्षण दुष्टवान से किंगनु मत्स तब कारित हे मुने टू नारदजी महाराज शंकर भगवान स्पीकिंग हो मुने हो मुनि एन ब्रह्मकृत मर्यादा हु वॉन्टेड टू बेक द हु वॉन्टेड टू बेक द who wanted to break the rules set by maryada dignity set by brahma brahma ki to maryada who who wanted to break the order of guru eh who 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 could not who could not who who could not you know keep promise about whom About Bolly Maharaj, Shankar Bhagwan speaking. About Bolly Maharaj, the grandson, the grandson of Pralad Maharaj. Shankar Bhagwan speaking. About Bolly Maharaj. Ho Narad, you can remember. Bolly Maharaj wanted to break the dignity set by Brahma. What is the dignity? In the heaven, in the heaven, Indra, Varun. All they can, you know, they can, they can, you know, rules, rules and regulation, everything in should be there. In, in, you know, in the hand of Indra Maharaj, nobody should break the rules and regulation. Ravan also, I can come to the point. Ravan also wanted to break this, you know, rules and regulations set by Brahma. so about prahlad maharaj and about his grandson everything all is you know destiny shankar bhagwan speaking marjada langh kashyapi guru badesh krito mune even bali maharaj could not keep his promise he could not you know he could not keep his promise in front of bhaman dev ji maharaj and also bali maharaj you know wanted to break the dignity set by brahma he wanted to capture the heavenly planet he wanted to you know wanted to stop the supply of you know jagya bhag a share of jagya indraya namah varunaya namah or he wanted to stop follow he wanted to engage some asura surya chandra varun all they like to displace them 
and wanted to engage Asura in their place, wanted to get control over heavenly planet, he wanted to break the rules and regulations set by Brahma. Also, he, was, he wanted to violate, he, he, you know, violate the instruction of Guruji. Shukracharya speaking, well, he is Vishnu. Esha Vishnu Rabbayaha, he is Supreme Lord himself. Don't give donation to him. You promise him, but you are not taking water in hand and not going to speak some mantra. So don't go, because it's Vishnu. If you are going to donate, you can become penniless. Be careful. Marjada, Langha, Kashyapi, Guruva, Desha, Krita, Mune, Asampanya, Sak, Bhag, Yal. Asampanya, he, he, Wanted to promise in front, he wanted to do some commitment in front of Bamanji Maharaj. I can give, I can give you three footstep of land, Tipad Bhumi, but he could not keep his promise. Asampanyo, Shobhag Yalo, Satata, Satata Antasya, Yad Balehe, follow. He Mune, he wanted to break the, you know, dignity of Brahma. He could not obey Gurudev. He could not keep his promise in front of Bhavanji Maharaj. You know. Do you think? That ultimately Bhagavan going to stay as a gate man. Do you think that Bhagavan going to stay as a gate man of Bali Maharaj? Do you think it is the result of giving the you know three words Sargamakta Patal? Do you think Narad? Do you think it is the result of giving donation? To Bhamanji Maharaj, I mean Supreme Lord, Sargamatta Patal donation. Do you think it is a result that Bhagavan going to stay as a gate man? At the gate of Bali Maharaj? Do you think so? What do you think? Or even Dushta Banasur? Banasur? Yeah? You are so, you know, false ego. <coughs> so false ego, Banasur. He, Banasu speaking to Shankar Bhagavan, well, I cannot find any competitor with whom I can fight properly. Only I find you. Banasur, so false ego, Banasur going to speak in front of Shankar. Prabhu, actually I find nobody who, you uh, know, competitor. I cannot find a single, single man or demon or demon or demigods and nobody there who can put challenge in front of me who, with whom I can fight with all my, you know, so many hands is, I you know, is one kind of, you know, problem for me. I cannot bear so many hands. Follow. It is one kind of burden for me, so many hands, but no use. I like to fight, but I cannot find any competitor with whom I can find. So, I think only you are the, you know. Then Shankar Bhagavan was very angry. Well, I am going to give you benediction, everything. You know, you are so false ego. Then very shortly, Shankar Bhagavan speaking, very shortly, very shortly, very shortly, you can satisfy your desire. Very shortly, you can satisfy your desire. Foolish number one. You like to fight with somebody? Well, very shortly. Then after that, you remember, Banasur was bound to put Aniruddha in jail. 
you know, captive. And for this reason, actually Aniruddha was, you know, not responsible for that. Aniruddha was taken here. Aniruddha never purposely came. So long history. So, you see, now after that, when Banasur discovered that Aniruddha is there inside the room of my daughter, then he started fighting. After fighting illegally, he was caught, who? Aniruddha. And on the basis of this incident, Naraji Maharaj all, you know, give information, then Bhagavan, Sri Krishna, everybody, they are coming here to make free, to make, to, to make free, Aniruddha, to make Aniruddha free. This way fighting took, big fighting took place, then Shankar Bhagavan took the Side, Shankar Bhagavan took the side of Banasur. This way, big fighting took place. Ganapati Maharaj also came, some demigods. Also, they, they big fighting took place. Ultimately, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to cut all the hands of Banasur because someday before. Banasur was speaking in front of Sankarna, one kind of burden for me, so many hands, no use. I like to fight with somebody, you know. Then after that big fighting took place, and to save the life of Banasur, Kotora, I mean the mother of Kotora, the mother of Banasur, came out in front of Krishna to stop fighting, without any cloth. Then Krishna was bound to stop fighting. Follow. This way, there was big fighting and Shankar Bhagavan was bound to start prayer. Prayer in front of Krishna or Prabhu. I give benediction to this Asur, Manasur. So if you kill, then big problem. Bhagavan Sri Krishna is thinking, no, I am not going to kill I am going to keep only four hands. Actually, those Vaikuntha Parsha, usually they are, they have, they, actually they, only they have four hands. Those who are Vaikuntha Parsha, only they have four hands. <laughs> Any ordinary man cannot have, even demigods, they have no four, four hands, you know. Ganapati, they have four hands, you know. So, this way, so, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to cut all hands by Sudarshan Chakra. Khacha, khach, like banana trees. And after that, Shankar Bhagavan is going to pray, Prabhu, you cannot kill him. Please, please, you know, stop. Then Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, well, I am not going to kill him. Because in the destiny of Prahlad Maharaj, in the Anmaya, Anmaya means destiny of Prahlad Maharaj, I promise him I cannot kill anybody. Only I like to, I only I like to cut his false ego, so much false ego. So you see, Shankar Bhagavan speaking. Do you think? Do you think that Bhagavan is staying in the gate of Bali Maharaj? This is the result of giving donation of this Sargamatha Patal by Bali Maharaj. Not at all. Not at all. Then what? If it is not, you know, the you know, the result, then what is this? Then the explanation is there. Dare tadrik avasthanam tuchadana phalam kimu rakshanam dushtabana sho king nu mats stavakaritam and I was praying in front of Supreme Lord, so I was doing stava. I was I was doing stava. I was praying. 
I was doing stava. I was doing stava. I was praying in front of Bhagwan. That's why you think that Bhagwan not going to kill Banasu. Not that. Then, well, actually, it is all is the result of the bhakti of Prahlad Maharaj. Oh, really? Yes. It is all the result that Bhagwan going to stay in the gate of. Bali Maharaj, as a Darwan Gateman, it is also the result of the love of Prahlad Maharaj, his devotion, and also Bhagwan not going to kill Banasur. Do you think Narad? Do you think I was doing stava? That's why Bhagwan uh, took decision not to kill. Not that. Actually, all are the result of extreme love. A Prahlad Maharaj, he was his devotion unto the Lord as his supreme Lord. That's why Bhagwan going to, you know, show that kind of you know activities actually. You can remember or everything. Because in Bali Jagya, in Bhrigu Kacha, at the bank of Narmada, Narmada Nadi, at the bank of Narmada Nadi, Bhrigu Kacha, there was one Jagya started by Bali Maharaj. And in that Jagya, Bhamandev Maharaj came, you know the reason, Diti and Aditi, eh? Aditi Ma, Aditi Ma, the mother of demigods, Diti, mother of Daita, Kashyap Muni there. So, this way, when heavenly planet was captured by demigods, then uh, Aditi Ma, she was feeling very problem, she was crying, so she wanted to take some bow. I mean, Payabrata, by the help of Payabrata, she was successful to satisfy Vishnu Bhagavan. Vishnu Bhagavan promised her that, well, I am going to fulfill your desire, but not now. Very shortly, you can get one son, I mean, Bhavandip Ji Maharaj, who can help you to capture the heavenly planet and you can give that heavenly planet to your son. I know you are sorry. Because all your sons, Indra, Varun, they are flying here and there in Martha Loka and very, you know, they are very fearful at present because Bali Maharaj is going to take control over our heavenly planet. So, well, I am going to bless you. You can come out successful to so Vishnu uh, to, to prove his benediction, I mean, successful. So, Vishnu Bhagavan came in the form of Bhamandev Ji Maharaj and ultimately he was bound to go to the Jagya, the spot of Jagya, Vrigu Kacha. And there everything you know. This way, Shankar Bhagavan is going to glorify Prahlad Maharaj. Somebody can say that Bali Maharaj is Dadas Mahajan. You know, out of twelve Mahajan, I out of twelve Mahajan, you know, Prahlad, Vishma, Valir, Vayas, you know, all Dadas Mahajan, Sayanbhur, Narada, Sambhu, Sayanbhur, Narada, Sambhu, Kumara, Kapila, Manu, Prahlad, Vishma, Janakaru, Valir, Vayas, Agirvayam, Dada, Saita, Vijanimu, Dharmam, Bhagavatam, Bhatta, Guiyam, Vishuddham, Durvadhyam, Jadhyatta, Amrita, Masnuti. So, all twelve Mahajan, out of twelve, Mara, twelve Mahajan, you can find Bali Maharaj is there. So, how it is possible for Bali Maharaj to take this kind of post? Shankar Bhai wanted to speak, it is, it is only because of Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj is so powerful, Bhagavan, is under the control of Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj loved Bhagavan so much because of his you know, exclusive devotional practice. 
devotion, not practice actually, practice we can apply in our case. So, because of exclusive devotion of Prahlad Maharaj, Bali Maharaj was successful to get that, that kind of post. Because the Guru of Bali Maharaj is actually, actually the Guru of Bali Maharaj is Prahlad Maharaj. Actually, the Guru of Prahlad Maharaj is Naraji Maharaj, not Sandu Marko. Follow what I say. Externally, you can see that Sandu Marko, they too are the Guru of Prahlad Maharaj. But Prahlad Maharaj himself confess many times, you know, in front of Hiranyakasipu. Moti Rana Kishne Paroto Shatoba Mitho Vipadde to Gya. They are clearly Prahlad Maharaj speaking. Hiranyakasipu asks him, who gave you this kind of idea of doing Vishnu Bhajan? Eh? Where from you learn? Prahlad Maharaj speaking, Moti Rana Kishne Paroto Shatoba Mitho Vipadde to Gya Pratana. They are Gya Pratha. They have taken a vow to lead family life, very nice material life. How they can, they have no information about Vishnu Bhakti. How they can know? How you can expect that they can give some, you know, lesson to me about Krishna Bhajan or Vishnu Bhajan? Eh? Motir na Kishne parato shatova Mitho vipadde to griho vratanam Adant go vir vishatam tamisram Punaha puna charvicho char vananam Pradma speaking, those who are leading their family life, material life, they are getting the same enjoyment. Janma itunadi grihomedi sukham hitucham Pradma speaking, same enjoyment. Those who are leading their greatest life, they are getting the same enjoyment daily, daily, daily. Still, they like to enjoy their material life. Motir no Krishna Parathosa. Directly or indirectly, personally poured by anybody's word, somehow it is not possible to get Vishnu Bhakti. Only by the help of a pure devotee, by the mercy of a pure devotee. So, Prahlad Maharaj speaking, Motir no Krishna Parato Satova. By my personal report or by the effort of Sandamarka, you think I am going to get this bhakti? I develop this kind of conception of Vishnu Bhakti. Motir no Krishna Parato Satova. Mitho Vipatte to Gihapratana. Gihapratha Bhakti. They are enjoying the same material enjoyment daily. They, feel, they think it is very good. They are enjoying their life. How they can know any clue of Krishna Bhakti? They have no information about Krishna Bhakti. And their intellect, everything, their, their conception or their, their mind is very chanchal. Their mind is so chanchal that they are sitting always in the chariot of their mind. Mind can be compared with the chariot. Without fuel, without, you know, license, without any, you know, visa, automatically anywhere mind can go. Only you will have to sit inside this chariot of your mind and mind can fly anywhere. So, Pallarana speaking, Motirna Krishna Parato Satova, Mitho Vipadhyeda Giha Pratana, Odanto, they have no controlling over their sense organ. Odanto go Visadanta Mishra. They have no controlling over their sense organs. They are busy with material, material enjoyment. They are going down and down and down and down. Odanto go Visadanta Tamisram. Tamisram means one kind of hell. Tamisra, Ando Tamisra, one kind of different gradation of hell. They are going to hell. Mitho vipadde to give a pratana. Adanto govir visadanta. Punaha punacharvita charvanana. They are chewing the same enjoyment daily. 
So how we can expect? So Prahlad Maharaj is going to get this end. So the Guru of Prahlad Maharaj is surely Sandamarka, the two are not the Guru of Prahlad Maharaj. And the Guru of Prahlad Maharaj is Naraji Maharaj. The Guru of Prahlad Maharaj is Naraji Maharaj. Naraji Maharaj and the Guru of and the Guru of our this you know grandson of you know Bali Maharaj, grandson of Prahlad Maharaj. Though externally fine, the Sukracharya is the guru of you know whole Asura destiny. You can point out Maharaj Sukracharya is the guru of Bali Maharaj, how is it possible? But surely not. Tat sadhu manne ha asura varjo dehi na. Tat sadhu manne ha asura varjo dehi na. Sada samudbhugna diyam masad gruhat. Hitva tapatam grihamanda kupam. Banam gata hayad harimas rayet. Ah, Prahlad Maharaj is going to give indication to to whom? To Hiranyakasipu. Follow. But Prahlad but, but Hiranyakasipu cannot understand. Follow. Prahlad Maharaj gives an indication. Tat sadhu manne ha sura varjo dehi na. You know. Or when Hiranyakasipu is going to ask to Prahlad Maharaj, what do you think? What do you think fit? What do you think good? What kind of lesson you have taken from Guru? Here and Guru is asking, what you learn from your Guru? I am going to put one open question, otherwise you can feel nervous. So here and Guru is going to put question. Though we know Prahlad Maharaj can never feel nervous. <laughs> Prahlad Maharaj is... So still, here and Guru is going to put one open question, so that Prahlad Maharaj, a small boy, can never feel no, nervous. But actually, Prahlad Maharaj can never feel nervous. When Hiranyakas is going to shout, still then, Prahlad Maharaj is not feeling nervous. Because he is a devotee, great devotee. So, when Hiranyakas is asking, what you learned from your Guru? Then Prahlad Maharaj is thinking, my Guru is Naraji Maharaj. So, why not I can speak the truth? Huh? Navida Bhakti started first of all speaking. Eh, first of all speaking. Tat sadhu manne hasu rabaru jade hinam. Sadhasamad bhiganadhiya masad grahat. Hitvatta patam grihamanda kupam. Banangata yadhani masrair. What do you think, fit? I think those who are leading their material life, they are full of tension. I think they can live, I think it is good if they live this, this material life and go to a forest and there they can concentrate in Vishnu Bhajan. Solitary place means Sadhu Sangha. Follow. Tat Sadhu Manne Asura Varja Dehina. E Asura Varja topmost Asura. As the king of Asura, I think it, I think it good. If those, you know, those, you know, people here in this material world, material world, they are full of tension all the time. They can live this material life and go enter into a very solitary place and they can concentrate in Krishna Bhajan, Vishnu Bhajan. Tat sadhu manne heo sura varja dehinam sada samud bhigna diya. They are full of tension, hypertension. Sada samud bhigna diya masad brahat due to star and star and planet, you know, star planet position, they are feeling tension. Jupiter is not good, Saturn is not good, you know, they are, they are you know, Venus position is, a moon also very, you know, back position, so you will have to take some moonstone or pearl, you will have to take those who are, you know, astrology are going to prescribe. But Prahlad Mara speaking, Tat Sadhu Manne Yosura Varjo Dehinam, Shada samud bhigna diya masad bruhat 
hitvattu batam this family life is just like suicidal squad they are going to kill themselves so living this family life if they can go ban ban mean forest external meaning is forest banam tu satyam basam the meaning of ban this word means to stay with sadhu sangha and do hear hari naam hari katha hari kirtan you can do so prahlad ma first speaking to hiranagasibu that tat sadhu manya sarvaji sada samadvigne sada you know tat sadhu manne asura varjate hinam sada samadvign diya masakra hitvat batam griham and kupam and the kup it is like a blind well no water is there in the well so they can live this family life and go and consented in go to a forest and consented in hari bhajan that i think that i think topmost teaching that i have received from my guruji hiranagas was saying perhaps a guru is a sanmarka but prahlad was saying why i should speak rightly because my guru is naraji so speaking this next time when he was sent again to gurukul he was sent back to gurukul again after some time prahlad mahara de asan namar ko going to carry prahlad mahara again now we can put question now it is them then prahlad mahara speaking shravanam kirtanam vismasparanam pada sevanam this shloka now vidha bhakti so hiranagas was fed up where from he is learning this where from is learning sandamarga speaking your son speaking something which is quite natural he is himself speaking nobody going to teach suto your son going to speak naisargi ki iyam matirasa rajan naisargi ki iyam matirasa rajan he rajan we never teach this kind of lesson how and from where he is speaking i don't know but we think it is quite natural it is there inside himself his heart naisargi ki ya naisargi ki quite natural his nature is bhakti his nature prahlad maharaj his nature is bhakti so you are unnecessarily become angry with us naisargi ki ya matirasya rajan asra this prahlad asya mati and intellect is quite natural nobody going to teach him from outside so you can remember so now the guru of prahlad maharaj we know it for sure the naraji maharaj and the guru of banas and the guru of you know bali maharaj is prahlad maharaj do externally you can find that sanno amarko they are the two guru but not actually that in relation in relation to prahlad maharaj in relation to prahlad maharaj bali bali maharaj was successful to attain that post of mahajan otherwise impossible now question can come well do we understand okay uh bali maharaj going to get kripa because of prahlad maharaj in relation to prahlad maharaj bhagwan going to bestow kripa on bali maharaj well we understand but what about banasur he is a demon he always want to want to insult bhagwan or devote his honor this way <clears throat> now question is that Shankar Bhagwan speaking. It is also due to the kipa of Pralad Maharaj. It is also due to the kipa of Pralad Maharaj. Eh? Except the relationship with Pralad Maharaj, you know, this kind of kipa is impossible. And Bhagwan. Bhagwan, you know, in in the fighting there, Bhagwan wanted to avoid killing. 
Bhagavan wanted to avoid killing Banasur, only wanted to keep four hands. Four hands, four hands actually we can find in Vaikuntha. <laughs> you know. And Bhagavan also speaking to Sivji Maharaj, when Sivji Maharaj is praying, Stava, in front of Krishna, Bhagavan speaking, well, I am not going to kill Banasur anyway. He is your devotee. And I only wanted to cut his false kigo. I can keep only four hands and your parshat. He can become your parshat. Shiva parshadatta. So, this way after giving punishment, Bhagavan wanted to cut the false ego and wanted to cut this material bondage of Banasur also. Follow. Sangsar khoi. Sangsar means material sangsar. So, it's, we know everything. What kind of dangerous, you know, Banasur was. So, in, in relation to, you know, in relation to Pallad Maharaj, Mahapriyadam, Pallad Vidya, you know, also, Sankar Bhagavan it is also in relation to the Kipa of Pallad Maharaj. Because they used to love Pallad Maharaj. That's why. You also know the case of Devananda Pandit in Navadiv Dham. We also know the case of Devananda Pandit in Navadiv Dham. Devananda Pandit, you know, he was reciting Bhagavatam and Sivas Pandit, he wanted to hear Bhagavatam and Bhagavatam is full of rasa, prema. So after hearing Bhagavatam, Sivas Pandit, he was crying heavily and all those dry philosopher, dry Pandit, Devananda Pandit, you know, was reciting Bhagavatam that time and all dry, you know, philosophers, those students, they were also feeling disturbance. They don't know Bhagavatam is Supreme Lord Himself and if somebody is going to cry after hearing Bhagavatam, he's feeling Prema Pumartha Mahana, you know. Bhagavatam is a Prema Pumartha Mahana. When Naharajim, when Sivas Pandit is going to cry. Those dry philosophers, the students, they were feeling disturbance. They took decision to take carry. They took decision to carry Sivas Pandit and throw outside. That was a great offense on the part of those dry philosopher students. Also, Devananda Pandit was the leader, fountain head of that assembly. He should speak, you know, he should object, but he was not speaking. He didn't speak anything against this. Oh, let him stay here. He's not speaking that way. That's why he is also, he was the, you know, leader of that, you know, of that assembly, of Bhagavad assembly. So that was a great offense on the part of Devananda Pandit and Mahaprabhu. When, you know, in Aparat Bhanjan part, Kolodip, one day Mahaprabhu wanted to run inside and take the Bhagavatam. Who give him? Mahaprabhu who allow him to read Bhagavatam? He has no right to touch Bhagavatam. What, what meaning he can understand of Bhagavatam? Well, I am going to take away Bhagavatam from his hand. Mahaprabhu was so angry. Somehow, devotees, they wanted to, get, you know, pacify Bhagavan. But after that, we can find that same Devananda Pandit, you know, when he got the chance to serve Bhakrishar Pandit, Bhakrishar Pandit, you know, you can remember, at a stretch, at a stretch, 72 hours, at a stretch 72 hours, Bhakrasar Pandit can dance without any problem. So much energy. Follow. 
Bakkeshwar Pandit can dance and sing. Bakkeshwar Pandit can dance and sing at a stretch for 72 hours. At a stretch. No problem for him. That Bakkeshwar Pandit came, he came here in, in a Kolodip and there he stayed in the house of Devananda Pandit. So Devananda Pandit got the scope to serve Bakkeshwar Pandit somehow and he was, you know, after getting this kind of association, Bakkeshwar Pandit, you know, was successful to change his heart and this way Mahaprabhu was also ready to best to keep on him. Anyway, so Sankar Bhagavan speaking that even Banasur also going to get Kipa in relation to Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj is so great, you know. They are, they are enjoying Bali Maharaj or Bali Maharaj or, you know, Banasu, they are all enjoying the Kipa of Prahlad Maharaj. So this way, in relation to Prahlad Maharaj, somehow they are going to, you know, get this kind of scope, not by their personal effort. And Sankar Bhagavan now speaking, Kevalam, Kevalam, Tat Maha Prishto Prahlado Pitta Pekshaya, Pritto Pekshaya, King Bryang eh, Paramatraste Gauri Lakshaha Priyasakhi Kevalam Kevalam Tat Maha Prishto Prahlado Pritto Pekshaya Kevalam Tat Maha Prishto Prahlado Pritto Pekshaya King Bryam Paramo Matraste Paramo Atraste Gauri Lakshaha Priyasakhi Ho Narad I cannot shout I cannot shout but because here Gauri my wife my Sakti she is a friend of Mahalakshi she is the friend of Mahalakshmi. If she is going to hear this kind of Siddhanta, that the glories of Prahlad Maharaj is more than, you know, Mahalakshmi, she can feel jealousy. Follow. So, anyway, I am not going to shout, try to understand and digest my Siddhanta. You know. So, the Kripa of Krishna, Bhagavan, is resting fully with Praladma, no doubt, but don't shout. No doubt, but don't shout. Because here, uh, my, my wife, I mean Gauri, she is a friend of Mahalakshmi Priya Sakhi. If she is going to hear this kind of Siddhanta, she become very angry. Follow. There will be a big problem. So everybody fear wife. Everybody. Follow. Kevalam. Tat Mahaprashto Prahlado Pritto Pekshaya King Bruyam Paramo Matraste Gauri Lakshaha Priya Sakhi. Now Sankar Bhagavan is going to speak more. Sankar Bhagavan going to speak about the secret Siddhanta in front of, in front of you know, Naraji Maharaj. Somebody can express some doubt, but we know from the commentary of Vishwana Chakvati, Aham Bhakta Paradhino, everything, that you can go through the commentary of Vishwana Chakvati Bhad or Siddha Sai Bhad, you can find there. Sarup Shakti is so excellent. Sarup Shakti is independent. Sarup Shakti is so excellent. 
and it is a system that Bhagavan can distribute the kipa of Sarup Shakti through devotees. Tat Prakash Tat Shakti, not directly. Sarup Shakti Bhitti means Bhakti. Bhagavan cannot distribute Bhakti directly. It is not the rules. Bhagavan always going to distribute Bhakti through devotees. This is the rules. That's why devotees, they usually, you know, by the help of devotees, we are going to get, but one point is very important, that we know Bhagavan is our worshipable, Bhagavan is our only worshipable object. We know, we know that the Supreme Lord, we know that the Supreme Lord is the only and absolute object of our worship. We know it very well. Bhagavan is the only object of our worship and devotion. But another secret point is that Sarup Shakti Bhisti, Sarup Shakti Bhitti Bhakti is so powerful that when devotee going to love Bhagavan, serve Bhagavan exclusive way, then then Bhagavan also become a devotee of his devotee. Bhajaniya Bhagavan, he also become a devotee of his devotee. <laughs> this is the rules. My very secret Siddhanta. Follow. So, Bhakta can be, you know, we know Aishadya Bhakta and Madhujya Bhakta, there is two categories. You know, I don't like to go in details, but we know very well that Bhakti is so, Sarup Shakti is so powerful, even, you know, even Bhagavan can become a devotee of his devotee. Otherwise, how Bhagavan Sikh is now going to speak in front of Radharani, Saragarala Mandalam, Mamasirasi Mandalam, Dehipada Pallava Mudarum, give your lotus feet on my head to quench my die heart, burning heart. How possible? This is because it is the commitment of Bhagavan. Na par na pare aham, na pare aham niravadda sangjujam, ja ma abhajano durjana greva sankhala sangvrishya tadva pratiyatu sadhana. Ho go I am nothing to pay. It is my usual rules. It is my commitment. It is my commitment, it is my commitment, it is my usual rules. That Whenever some devotee like to do something from me, I like to I also like to pay. Je Yathamang Prabhadante, Je Yathamang Prabhadante Tang Stathiva Bhajamyaham. But a special rule is that, and also in Gita you can find I am equal to all. Bhagavan speaking, it is my general rules. But those who are going to dedicate everything for me, naturally I love them. My usual rules is that I am equal to everyone. I have no partiality. But I have some special rules. What is that? If somebody love me, somebody, somebody serve me, so no, I, have, I, I, have to, I have my special attention for them. It's quite natural that in, you know, Brihad Bhagavatam, already you watch so many things I discuss. Bhagavan can do everything. Kortum akortum annatha kortum jo samartaha sa eva ishwaraha. Bhagavan can do anything. What Bhagavan cannot do? Kortum akortum annatha kortum jo samartaha sa ishwaraha. When, when the cars coming, you know, on Darika Vasi, Jodhu destiny. When a curse, when those Brahman, you know, Rishi Manis, they are going to curse, but curse Jodhu destiny. Jodhu Bamsa Dhamsa get destroyed. Bhagavan could, could easily save them. But it is, there it is written, I, I don't like to falsify all the, you know, words of Sadhu Guru Vaishnava. 
Though sadhus, the rishis, they are going to curse you, it is also my desire. Also, in third country you can find, when Chatusan speaking, well, we have done some aparad, Bhagavan we no, you have given, you know, you, you curse, you curse, then, you know, joy be joy, it is my desire. According to my desire, inspiration, this kind of curse came in the life of Jai Vijay. So don't worry. You know, it was my desire. So, and in front of Jai Vijay, you can go through Bhagavad you can find in front of Jai Vijay, Bhagavan speaking, well, I can cut. They curse you, na, Chatusan. I can easily nullify. You know, but I don't like to do it. I like to give honor to Sadhu Guru Vaishnava Rishi Mani. I can easily cut, but I don't like to do. You know, Sattam Vidhatum Nijavatta Hasitam. In seventh canto, it is written that to that to that to prove that to prove that my devotee never speak lie. Sattam Vidhatum Nijavitta Vasitam. My devotee Prahlad not speaking lie. When Hiranagasi was asking, well, I can get your Prabhu. I can get your Prabhu here in this, you know, in this pillar. Prahlad was saying, yes. So in Bhagavatam, seventh canto, it is written, Sattam Vidhatum Nijavitta Vasitam. His Prahladma is speaking this way. So, to prove that my devotee can never speak lie, Bhagavan came out of that pillar. Follow what I say. So, according to different judgment, Sankar Bhagavan is speaking, according to different kind of judgment, we find. Bhagavan usually going to give prema bhakti, those who are doing exclusive bhakti and prema bhakti, you know. Huh. Bhagavan, and also you can remember the sloka, you know, in, you know, uh, where, uh, go to me a tantra. Go to me a tantra, there was one sloka. Our Advaita Gosai could discover it. Uh, Tulsi Dala Matrena, who Advaita Gosai could discover this sloka. It is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita Chaitanya Bhagavad. Tulsi Dala Matrena, Jalasa Chalukena Bha, Vikrinite Swatmanam Bhakti Bhakti Bhasala. There is written in the sloka, Advaita Gosai was successful to discover this sloka. And he was thinking that Bhagavan is going to sell himself in front of devotees. If some devotee is going to offer Tulasi, Patra and Ganga water, then Bhagavan is thinking what to give. This kind of very, very, you know, costly thing is not there with me. What I can give? So, well, I can give myself. So, Prahlad, and actually, our Advaita Gosai, you know, reading this, reading this sloka and speaking, you know, Tulasi Dala Matrena, Tulasi Dala Matrena, Jalasa Chalukenova, Vikriniti Swatmanam Bhaktibha Bhaktivasalha. Bhaktivasal Bhagavan going to sell himself if somebody is going to offer Tulsi Dal and Ganga water of a tremendous love, like the case of Advaita Gosai. Advaita Gosai himself, you know, Mahavishnu. Avatar, but he is shouting, you know, and speaking this sloka and offering water and, you know, Ganga water and Tulsida. Ultimately, the Supreme Lord, Paratpara Kileshwar, Swayamrup Bhagavan, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Krishna Chaitanya, Gorang Mahaprabhu was bound to come. Mahaprabhu speaking. Mahaprabhu speaking, I am coming. I am coming because of Atvaita Gosai. He is forcefully you know, calling me, come, come, try to rescue this material world. 
nobody there except you. So Bhagavan speaking, only because of this Nara, Nara is a nickname, only because of Nara, Adhaita, Gosai, I am bound to come and manifest. You know, so what is not, what is not possible? Bhakti Sarup Bhuta. You know, it is a system. Bhagavan, you know, Bhakti Devi can distribute Bhakti by the help of devotees. So you can remember, we can, we can always try to remember this sloka that without the kipa, sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha, sarva sathya koi, lava matto sadhu sangha, sarva siddhi hoi. Sarva siddhi mene? Bhagavad kripa, Bhagavad prema. Sarva siddhi mene? Even prema we can get. This is the ultimate result of sadhu sangha. But actually, we will have to do perfect sadhu sangha. Then actually, Sankar Bhagavan speaking, O oh Narad, if you cannot believe me, if you like to prove what I am speaking, tat gatya sutale sigram bardeitva sisham ganai praladam svayam asrisho mada slesha balim bade. Actually, Sankar Bhagavan wanted to check. Actually, Sankar Bhagavan wanted to check Naraji Maharaj. Actually, Sankar Bhagavan wanted to check Naraji Maharaj from running to Vaikuntha Jagat. And after that, speaking so many things. Now, Sankar Bhagavan speaking, well, if you like to go and meet Prahlad, you can go and you know, he is your disciple. And you know yourself what is the glory of Prahlad Maharaj. You can bless him. You can get, you can bless him to get his association and you can embrace him and you can speak about my embrace. You can embrace yourself to, eh? you can embrace Pallad Maharaj, also you can apprise about my own embrace to Pallad. But don't pay Dandabad. Don't pay Dandabhat. If you missed, you know, if you're going to pay Dandabhat, it's a great problem. Because Prahlad Maharaj cannot be here. You are his guru. Anyway, Prahlad Maharaj is so humble that if you're going to pay Dandabhat, then you can miss the chance. He can go on crying. He cannot speak with you properly. So don't do this kind of activities. Out of your, you know, out of your, you know, Oblivion attitude, you can forget and you can go and pay Dandavat. Don't pay. You can bless. Then he can talk with you. You can try to get his association. So, Sankar Bhagavan speaking, Tat Gatva, Tat Gatva, Sutale Sigram. Very quickly you can go and reach Sutal, Atal, Sut, Atal, Vital, Talatal, Patal, Sutal, you know, down, down. Bhur bhuva swa maha yana tapo shatto up and down. You know, sutal. Because sutal, sutal is a special place. Sutal is a special place. Sutal is a special place given to Bali Maharaj. Not for Bali Maharaj, all Asuras. Even Prahlad Maharaj. Everybody going to stay in sutal. Their appliances we cannot compare. We, can, we cannot compare the kind of appliances they are available in Shutal with heavenly planet. It is nothing. Shutal by Bhav, I mean the appliances of Shutal is so great, we cannot compare. So, Shankar Bhagavan speaking to Naraji Maharaj, Tat Gatya Sutale Sigram Bardaitva Sisham Ganai. You can bless him. Pralhadam. So I am asli show, you can embrace him and try to apprise about my own, uh, own embrace to him, body. Aho, no sahati asmakam pranamam sajjanagrani. Sankarbhagam speaking, if I like to also pay Dandavat, 
Shankar Baba speaking, I also like to pay Dandavattu. I also like to pay Dandavattu Prahlad, but I know Prahlad cannot be here. So I like to check myself. Aho, no sahati asmakam pranamam. Asmakam means our pranam. You, me, all our pranam, he cannot be here. He is the topmost of all sadhu, sajjanagrani. So be careful. Stutin chamam pramadi shas tatro chet sukham ichasi. If you like to get, if you like to get a blissful association with Prahlad Maharaj, so don't try to pay dandavat anything mistakenly. Even you do mistakenly, please. It can bring a great fatal, big problem for you. He can feel sorry, he can cry, he cannot speak with you. So, Shankar Bhagavan speaking, well, Aho, no, sahati asmakam pranamam. Though we like to pay Dandavat pranam to Prahlad, but Prahlad cannot be here. He is impossible for him to be here. So, Aho, no, sahati asmakam pranamam sajjanagranihi. Astutincha, man, don't try to, you know, stuti, stuti means prayer. Don't try to start, don't try to start prayer in front of Prahlad. Then he cannot speak properly. If you like to get a blissful association with Prahlad, don't try to make any mistake like that. Then you can miss the chance. So, well, now you can go. You can go and check up what I am speaking, you know. This way, Shankar Bhagavan speaking all in details. About the full glories of Prahlad Maharaj, it is endless glories of Prahlad Maharaj. But Shankar Bhagavan wanted to show some grade of bhakti, devotional practice. This much we can. Not that Lakshmi is useless, he is useless, not that. Only comparative statement, this much we know. The sloka I started with, you must remember. It is by Kulo Shekhar, the great devotee. Uh, you know, Kulo Shekhar. Krishna Tadiyo Pada Pankajo Panjaranto Madhahi Bhame Vishatu Manaso Raja Hamsa Prana Prayana Samai Kapho Bhat Prithvaihi Kantha Barodhano Vidhau Smaranam Kutosthe Krishna Tadiyo Pada Pankajo Panjaranto Radhaiva me vishatu manaso raja hamsa prana prayana samai kapho bhata prithvaihi kantha varodhano vidhau bhajanam kutosthe bhajanam kutosthe Vaan chakal padurvasya ke basindh bhavacha pati tanang pavana bhavishna bhyo namun Actually, with this, we are going to, you know, this is the Iti Simat Bhagavatam Ritrutikayam Dikdar Sanyam Prathama Khande Titiya Odhayaha Samaptaha. I mean, in the first, cant, first part, third chapter, finish, and from tomorrow we can start the fourth chapter of first, you know, Khanda.